Okay, so continuing on, what we want to do is actually between this point where we actually define the window and uh, this point where we show the window, what we want to do is define the UI that's going to make up our window. So um, uh, define window UI, okay? Um, uh, hopefully you're happy with the idea by now that these um, hash elements that I'm putting in here that are coming up red, these are just comments. These are not bits of code that are ran by uh, the computer. Okay, so um, now there are a number of different approaches to kind of doing layouts, um, some more complicated and less complicated than others. Um, so the approach that I'm going to use is I'm going to use a form layout, okay, which is a little bit more complicated, but does give you more control of where the UI uh, elements are. Okay, so I'm going to go, um, uh, I'm going to go uh, self. So I'm, what I need to do is create a uh, an actual um, uh, form layout uh, for this window, okay, uh, and say what part of the window that this is going to occupy. So I'm going to go uh, main form. So self dot main form equals cmds um, dot form layout, and it's important to go main form because we're going to have to probably refer to this uh, later. In our script so that's useful to kind of go if I go self dot that means that's saved as part of the entire class and I can access that in um, other functions as well so whenever I go self dot something it just allows me to then use that functionality outside of just this con uh, just this um, create window function uh, or that data so I access that data uh, outside of the uh, create window function okay so um, commands form layout is what we're going to do um, and we want number of uh, divisions uh, equals 100, okay? Um, and all we're doing is just by specifying 100 divisions, it's just an easy number to work with in terms of working out where we're positioning stuff. So basically what we're going to do is this, uh, what we'll do is when we lay stuff out, we're, we're, we're going to be talking in terms of laying stuff out in terms of divisions, okay? Uh, okay, equals 100. So that's our form layout. Okay. Now what we want to do is let's add a uh, title to our window to start with. Okay. So I'm going to go uh, self dot uh, title display. So I'm creating a new another object that's part of this class. Okay. Which is just basically the the the, the text. Okay. And I tend to make all the UI elements available. At a class level because um, you want to be able to access them in this other functionality um, uh, typically you do uh, I think in the case of this title we won't but typically you will want to access that in other functionality so it's something that I typically do that's just a, as a general rule um, uh, form layout okay um, fact, sorry I'm typing in the wrong script here so we want to create a new text element. So we're going to go commands dot text, okay, um, and we're going to create a label. So we want to define the label to this, uh, and we want to go self uh, dot title. Um, we want to go align. Uh, so we're going to align it in the center. Um, so I want my title to be aligned in the center and then we can define the font as well font uh, uh, equals and we're going to go bold label font okay so it just means basically we're going to make this bold okay Okay, so now that we've created this title, what we need to do is actually put this onto our form. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use um, uh, something called, um, and we're going to tell it where we want to put it onto our form as well. Okay, so sorry, let's just do this again. Okay, um, so I'm going to go commands form layout. Okay, 
And basically what we're going to do is we're saying, I want to add this to a form and I want to add it to the main form that we just defined some time ago. Okay. And um, we're going to um, edit the main form. Okay. So we're just saying, right, right I'm going to edit the main form. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to use um, a property called attach form. I just need to make sure that this is called self. Okay. So we're going to use um, uh, 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 an approach called attach form. There's, there's two approaches for uh, placing things in our scene. We can go attach form to place it relative to the form. And we go attach control to attach it to, to place something in a form, but relative to another UI element that we've got into in our scene. You'll see me use both of these uh, in this tutorial. So for the moment we're going to use the, and you can actually combine them as well, So, but, but for the moment we're going to use the attach form. So I'm going to go attach uh, form, okay. So basically what we're doing here is defining where this element is going to be uh, or where the title is going to be relative to the form, okay. So here we go. So and then what we do is we say where each part, where the left, so we're going to define where the left, at the top left and right of this form are going to be placed and what the, uh, of this title are going to be placed. And obviously what that will do is define where the centre of that title is uh, as well by defining the left and right. It will put it into the centre of those left and right positions. Okay, so we're going to define where the top is first. So I'm going to go self dot title uh, display so that's this element here so we're going to say I want to put self.title display and I want to put the top of the self.title display okay five pixels in from the top so I want to give it a margin of five pixels from the top of the window okay um, uh, or the top of our form okay and what we can do is we can do a whole series of these attached form statements to kind of define where the right of this title display should be and where the left of this title display should be. But rather than do that, what we can actually do is simply by putting these three sets of values into um, a square bracket here, okay, and in fact that's what you should do anyway, okay, what we're doing is this is like a self-contained thing here that's saying, right, uh, I want to, you know, I want to put the top of the self display five pixels from the top of the form. Okay, uh, and we can basically um, define this element, the the top, right, and other elements of this, uh, with a whole series of these um, uh, of these kind of three property or three value. Um, they're, they're kind of called tuples, okay, but these sort of three value parameters just by, by having a whole series of these to define diff where different parts of that element should be placed. Okay, so I'm going to go comma and then I'm going to go to the next line, okay, and what I'm going to do is I want to take another set of these three values. In fact, what I could do is just do copy and paste just to help my life a little bit easier okay and this time I want to put the self.title display but this time I want to do the left but again that's going to be five pixels from the left of the form as well okay so the left is going to be five pixels from the left of the form leaving another margin okay again I'm going to put in another um, uh, another kind of set of values in here okay so again it's another set of three values okay and I'm just going to go uh, right and again that's going to be five pixels away now I've defined all the values that I want to define for um, doing this form layout so what I need to do is I need to close this bracket okay so that's this bracket and then I need to close this bracket which is this one here okay um, uh, and then our, our piece of code is complete so let's run that and see what we've got uh, we do have a syntax error, and yeah, my my English writing is uh, slightly causing a problem. I need to call. Uh, I need to actually say center in the uh, American way. Okay, uh, let's try that again. Okay, so now you can see that we've actually got our um, UI element here, our label. Okay, in bold in the center there. Okay, and basically to add all our UI elements, we do this kind of same pattern. So we create the UI element and then we'll use a form layout command to actually position that UI element. Okay, so the next element that we're going to put in is our uh, set relink folder button. 
In fact, no. What I've done is I've put in like a separator, which is like um, um, which is like a little sort of horizontal line in here uh, as well. So let's put that in as well. Okay. Um, okay. So um, I'm going to go uh, self uh, title. separator okay and equals commands dot separator okay so we've created a separator and now what we're going to do is position that separator using again the form layout okay uh, command okay and um, so we're going to go uh, self so we want to put it onto layer out and position it on the main form okay and uh, we're going to go edit uh, equals true again. And this time we're going to use, so this time we're going to use the attach control um, uh, method to place this on the form. It's because we want to attach it relative to the bottom of our title. We don't quite know where the bottom of our title is, so we can attach it relative to the bottom of the title. Now we could use attach form and kind of go suck it and see and noodle it and get it in the right position, but this is kind of an easier way of doing it. So it's going to just put it relative to the title and put it underneath the title. Okay, so if I go attach control equals, and it's kind of a similar method. So what we have is, um, uh, but this time I'm just defining, uh, and, and this time what we do is we define a set of four uh, values uh, when we're doing an attach control, okay? So uh, again, I'm going to use square brackets. I'm just going to open and close the square brackets. So the first value that we specify, again, is the element that we're positioning. So that is self dot, um, uh, in fact, I wanted to go self dot title separator here, okay? Title separator. Top. So we want to position it on the top. That's the second value. Is what part? We, which part? Top, left, right, or bottom? Are we positioning of the title separator? So I want to put the top of the title separator. Okay. And I want to put it ten pixels. Okay. And I want to put it uh, uh, ten pixels relative to the self and I want to put it 10 pixels below okay the self dot title display okay so we've got to so when we're doing an attach control so when we're doing attach form we tend to just define sets of three values uh, the object we're positioning the bit that we the part of the object we're positioning and where we're putting it when we're doing attach control we need to specify the object we're positioning the part of the object we're positioning how far we want that object to be uh, relative to the control element we're positioning it against and the name of the control element that we're positioning it against okay so it's four elements there okay so let's run this and see what we get uh, I think I've closed the title let's have a look here we go I've got another syntax error Hang on. yes I actually uh, put a capital T in here I'm terrible for uh, trying to be consistent with, 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 my, with my names there so I put a capital T in there and it should have been a small t let's try and run that again I'm just going to go control a and press this play button uh, we're still getting an error Yes, uh, quite obvious. I haven't actually uh, closed the brackets uh, on this here. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, uh, module object has no attribute. Separator. Uh, maybe I have spelt separator wrong. Again, my spelling is causing a bit of a problem here. Um, so I think it's set power rater, okay? And there, you are, it's coming up blue, which is what we should have. Uh, again, if I go Control A, press play. Uh, oh, we've got another problem here. Ah, oh, that's fairly obvious. So it should be CMDS, not CMD. So 
there we go um, and what we actually need to do is I don't think I need to actually specify a bit more information about where to position this separator so I think we're going to kind of continue with that um, so what I'm going to do is to continue on another line I'm going to come down here and where we've got attach controls I'm going to go attach form okay and then we're going to so we're going to use the attach form command to kind of position the other elements of the separator, i.e. the left and right, okay? So I'm gonna go attach form, um, open uh, and close the brackets just so that we can keep track of our brackets. And also I'm just going to, um, uh, I'm gonna copy and paste this bit here because what we're doing is very similar. In fact, I might as well just copy and paste that bit there. Let's put that in, okay. Um, Okay, so I've and obviously we're not going to use self dot title display. We're going to use self dot title separator. Okay, control V, control V. Okay, and let's just line that up so it just looks a bit neater. Um, so what we've got here is we're positioning the left of the title separator, positioning the right of the title separator, then closing both sets of brackets. Let's just do a space there so it's nice and consistent with what we've done last time. And hopefully, I need to just grab all of that. Uh, there is a syntax error. Let's have a look at that. Yes, I just need to put a comma in after the uh, attach control um, uh, 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 parameter that we've put in. Okay, so let's try that. Okay, there we are. So we've got the texture relink window and we've got our separator there. Okay, so let's move on and put a button in. Okay. So we're going to put in the set texture folder button. So we want to come back out, out here. Very important that you um, keep the indents uh, correct here. So all these indents, all our lines need to start along here to say that they're inside of this create window function. Okay. Right, um, so I'm going to go um, self dot uh, btn is just short for button, okay? It's just uh, and obviously I can call all these things anything I want, okay? Folder set. So these are just names that I'm giving my button, giving my separator, so that I can refer to them later in the next line of my code in order to position it. OK, and also I'm going to be referring to these elements as well um, uh, so that I, so that when, when the users interacting with them, it triggers things, etc, etc. OK, uh, and I can yeah, interface with what the user is doing. OK, so um, we want to create a new button. OK. Um, and that's come up blue, which is great. It means I'm typing it incorrectly this time. Uh, we're going to set the label for our button to be uh, set uh, texture folder, okay. Let's set the height of our button, okay, and hopefully we'll spell height correctly this time, uh, to 30. And the width of the button to 150, okay. Now these values, um, I've kind of, you know, as I've created this tool before, um, I've kind of gone sort of suck it and see to kind of work out what width I need. I pretty know what height I need the button. I've had this fairly standard, but the width, it depends how you want to design it. But often if I make the width, I kind of depend on how much text is inside the button. Then you kind of need to kind of try out uh, different widths uh, to see what, what fits uh, with your requirements. OK, um, now what we need to do is we need to tell it. So we've given it a button. It's got a label. It's got a height. It's got a width. We need to tell it. Um, what command we want it to run okay so we're going to go command uh, it's going to be self okay and by command well i'll type it in i'll explain set folder uh, btn uh, cmd okay Okay, so what we're doing is we're telling the system um, uh, this is the label that I want to put on the button, this is the height, this is the width, and then this is the function, okay, 
uh, that we're going to call. So when the user clicks the button, we'll basically run this function. Okay, and we're going to define this function inside of here, the set uh, in, uh, in this bit of our code here. Okay, um, great. So now what we want to do is just as we did before, we want to lay this out. So we're going to go commands dot form layout. Okay, uh, and it's going to be self dot main form. Okay, and it's going to be edit equals true again. Okay, um, and we're just going to use uh, again. We're going to use attach control. So attach control again to put it underneath the separator. Okay, um, so uh, yep, to put it underneath the separator. Okay, um, so um, it's going to be the uh, So it's going to be the self.btn folder set. So button folder set. Um, and I'm going to attach the top. And I'm going to put it 10 pixel, uh, 20 pixels below uh, the title display. So in fact, I'm just going to go, I might just copy this self.title display. I'm going to put it 20 pixels below that. I could actually just put it 10 pixels below the separator. Uh, that would also work as well uh, as, as a way of working. But I'm going to do it this way. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to um, just tab it in and we're going to go. We don't have to tab the line in like this, but it just helps me visualize what's going on. And I can see that that's another parameter that's within this same function call, okay? So I can see that this is all basically one line of code, um, yeah, and this is these are all parameters within uh, the call of this function, okay? So, uh, attach form equals uh, self dot uh, button folder set. Okay, um, and we're going to define where the left, because we've already defined the width of it, so we only need to define where the left of that button is. So left, okay, and then we're going to place that again. Uh, we're going to place that, uh, we're, we're doing it relative to the main form. So I'm just going to put it five pixels away from the left, so it's in line with everything else that we've put onto our form. Okay, um, so we've done that. Now what we need to do is we need to close that function. So closing these brackets here that we started here. So just got to close those brackets. Okay. Uh, and then when we run it, we should have a button. And um, I'm hoping it's not going to get upset that we haven't specified this command yet, but we'll, 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 we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, so it's saying it can't find the set folder command. That's fine. So let's just give it a command um, so you can actually just see that running. Um, so I'm going to go... Um, and we want to make sure that we're putting this relative. So I might just kind of move, make the script window a little bit bigger. I want to make sure that I'm actually... This is in line with this de definition here. So let's keep... Um, otherwise, it won't work. So Python is very sensitive to your positioning of your your text okay so i'm going to go define and i'm going to define this set folder button command okay so i'm defining this function um and um it's part of uh, self so it's part of the class and some arguments will be sent to it so i need it to be able to accept some arguments okay um so basically these will just be uh, information about the button click uh, will be sent to it. We're not going to use any of that information particularly, but we need to create space in order to incorporate that information regardless. Okay, and I'm just going to go print um, button pressed. Okay, so hopefully now you go click yes, and then when I press this, we get button pressed. Okay, so that's fantastic. Great. Okay, so that's all running nicely. So next thing we want to do 
is add in our text field, okay, uh, which is going to show up. Uh, the purpose of this text field is to show the folder that we've linked to and also allows the person to edit that folder uh, if they want to change that link uh, and make it, say, a relative link and just link to the root of the Maya file rather than the, the root of the uh, hard drive. Okay, okay so it's um, commands dot... Sorry, so I'm going to create a self dot um, text... Sorry. So I'm going to call this self.txt field uh, folder. So again, we're just going to create a um, uh, location. Okay, so it's just a text field showing the uh, showing the folder location. Okay, um, equals commands dot uh, text field. Okay. So this is going to tell it to create a new text field, uh, and then we're going to put we'll just put some text in there. So just give it some initial text, just so that you can kind of see that. And we'll go set location. Okay, uh, let's just use single quotes for the moment. Okay, uh, I think that's all we need to do there. Okay, um, and then what we want to do is we're going to go uh, commands do the form layout again. Do commands form layout. Uh, uh, self dot main form okay uh, edit equals true okay uh, right now we're going to do attach control okay and what I want to do is I want to actually um, I, I want the text field to appear uh, to the left of the set folder button so I want this attach control to set this just underneath uh, level with the set folder button and to the le left of the set folder button so that's where I'm going to use this is where attach con control as a parameter is quite useful over using attach form to position things okay um, yeah so notice how I'm picking which parameters to use with attach control and which ones to use with attach form okay um, uh, Okay, so um, uh, control okay, go self dot txt field so what I'm going to do is in fact what I'm going to do is use the same control here that I did here so I'm going to go um, so I'm going to go self dot text txt field so self dot uh, uh, txt field folder location and then actually just link that in the same way that I did here so I just go to top 20 uh, self title display let's just do that okay uh, what I've also noticed as well is I've used the wrong brackets here I need to use the square brackets so let's just go comma so it's going to be um, so we're uh, we're positioning the um, self field, uh, this the text field folder location. So our text field, uh, we're going to position the top of it just like we did with the button. Basically, it's going to be positioned exactly the same as the button. Okay. Also, I put like a little semicolon here. I don't need to put a semicolon there. It's just a habit. So you can do that. You don't have to. That's something that Python kind of lets you get away with, uh, depending on what you want to do. Um, Okay, so and I've got this time I've got two um, sets of parameters that I'm putting in for the attach control. So I'm just going to copy this set. Seems like the easiest thing to do, and just go Control V and just line it up. So just again, just for neatness, just to try and line it up. So again, I'm going to position that, but this time I'm positioning the left of it, okay, relative to that button, okay. So it's going to be left, and I'm going to leave a space of five. Okay, so this would be a margin of five, and it will be relative um, uh, to the uh, to the button. Okay, so I can just go self dot button set. I'm just copy it from here. Sometimes just copying it, it is easier. It just avoids any kind of problems with your code, etc. Um, okay, so I'm going to close the brackets for uh, this parameter. So I'm not closing these brackets. I'm closing these brackets here. Okay, I want to leave 
the rest open because I, I want to keep this open because I'm going to go attach form now to attach the right element relative to the form. Okay, um, so this is going to be uh, self dot. Uh, so we're attaching the text field folder location. And we're going to do the right. And I think it's just going to be five. So comma, sorry, comma five. Okay. Uh, you have to be really careful when putting these commands together because it's very easy to get lost in what you're doing and make a kind of mistake and not close the right type of brackets, etc., etc. So this is fiddly. Uh, it's probably the, the the kindest way to put it. Okay. Um, right. Okay. I'm going to close that. Um, Great, so hopefully that's my text field set up. So let's just go Control A, let's run that. Yep, there we are, set location, that's my text field set up. So finally, the final UI element that we're going to put onto our form uh, is commands dot, um, sorry, I'm going to go self. And this time I'm going to call it, again, it's button. Just keep with my naming convention. Obviously, you can use whatever naming convention you want. Um, you can use whatever naming convention you want. So button, um, relink textures. Okay. Uh, and that equals uh, commands. Uh, so again, we're creating a button command. Okay. Um, and we need to give it a label. And that label is going to just be relink textures. And again, just like we did last time when we did a button, we need to specify the height, okay, uh, which is 30. So we'll keep it consistent. Uh, it's good to keep your UI elements looking consistent and the width. And again, we'll give that 150, again, just to kind of keep it consistent. Uh, and again, we need to specify a command that we're going to run in response to this. And that's going to be the self um, dot relink um, uh, btn uh, cmd command. Again, I can call these commands whatever I want. That's just ha that happens to be what I've called it for the purposes of this sort of tutorial. Um, yeah. Uh, Okay, so I'm just going to close that. Uh, obviously, what I need to do is create that um, uh, uh, that that particular command. So, um, so I'm just going to tab this in and just go and define that. In fact, we could just do the same sort of thing as we did here. So, let's copy and paste that code. Uh, so this time we're going to define the relink button command so let's just call this the relink button command okay but again it's going to set it's going to take sorry i just need to try that again but again it's it's part of self and it's going to take a set of arguments and i'll just call it i'll call it relink button press so that we can just tell the difference that we know it was this button that was pressed and this function is being called okay so again we need to um call actually position this button so we're going to go commands dot form uh, layout okay in fact i think i'm going to use a, a very similar set of layouts for that we did for the other button so i'm tempted just to copy this uh, just to save us a bit of time okay so this time we the top is going to be relative to uh this button here so let's so what we're going to do is obviously we're positioning this so in the attach control, we're going to be positioning this element and we're going to be positioning it relative to the previous button that we put in there. So the set button, uh, the set folder button. So attach control, uh, relink textures top uh, 20. There we go. OK, uh, folder set. OK, so we're so we're going to attach um, this button that we've just created and we're going to attach it relative to this we only need to leave five as a gap 
um, uh, and we're going to do it relative to this uh, self dot button folder set. So we need a, need a gap of five. Then with the attached form, um, it's going to be exactly the same, but again, this time we're not. Obviously, this is still attaching the uh, folder set button up here. We want it to attach this button we just created, so we just copy and paste that name in, uh, and that should all come across and work fine. So let's run that and see where we are. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, if I click relink textures, it's doing the relink uh, 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 button pressed. Okay, so it's saying that one, and obviously the old button is still doing that process. That's fantastic. Okay, so. Um, Okay, so in the next tutorial, what we're going to do is add the functionality to these buttons to actually do that texture relinking. Okay.